Buying a small car means living with compromises. If it's not the cramped passenger space, then it's a limited cargo carrying capacity. And if it's not those two, then it's the features, or should I say the lack of it. But like most things in life, there are always exceptions that reaffirm the rules. And in this case, an exception and a pleasant one at that is my current long-termer. The Renault Quid AMT. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but then which car actually is? The Quid has so much going for it that we can overlook some of its shortcomings, if not all. Before we proceed, do click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Take its looks for instance. Sure, it does not look as special as the Quid Climber, but if you want a climber, it'll cost you around 30,000 extra. Precious money that you can spend on parking sensors and better speakers to complement that entertainment system. And it's not like it looks bad either. The Quid strikes a nice balance in the styling department as it manages to look distinct without being too bold for Indian taste. Ah, and speaking of practicality, the Quid out here comes with 300 litres of boot space. Now, what does that mean for you and me in the real world? Well, you can carry two backpacks, one medium-sized suitcase and one large-sized suitcase, while still leaving space for some more. Now, it's just not the boot space. Even the passenger up front and the driver get ample amount of room. The only little niggling issue being is my knee keeps on hitting the rotor dial. But that's about the front passenger. What about the rear? Well, it's good for two. The only little problem being if there's a third person in the middle, it might be a tight squeeze. Summers have been unforgiving this year. And as you can see, the temperature in the car is a grueling 37 degrees. The good part is the Quid's AC works well, getting that temperature down to 26 degrees in a matter of minutes. The other interesting features for a budget car is the Bluetooth compatible touchscreen infotainment system with SatNav on offer. A little downer though, the touchscreen navigation system doesn't feel as responsive as it should. Though the Bluetooth system works, it doesn't really have the best audio quality that you would expect from a car. But then again, given that this is a budget car, I'll just let this one pass. Same goes for the navigation system as well. Unlike most cars equipped with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, the Quid uses its own navigation system called MediaNav. The navigation system is useful if you want to find a petrol pump near you or a restaurant. What it falls short of doing is finding the desired address. And that can surely take some time. If you want to set your route for navigation, I would suggest keep some time in hand. The one litre petrol engine feels adequately powered for the city. The only drawback is the AMT transmission. It's really slow while changing gears and it is really jerky. But I guess like Maric people will tell you, you get used to it. One thing that you can't get used to is the lack of manual gear shifts. Now every other car in India which is an AMT offers this option but not the Quid. While in the city it's alright to drive around, but on the highway when you want to pull quick overtaking maneuvers, it just doesn't cut it. One way to counter this untimely gear shift is to give light throttle input. It might not work always, but most of the time it gets the job done. So apart from the absence of a stick shift, there are quite a few things that I like about the quid. Like the ride. It's good at slow speeds and on the highway it feels stable. Just don't push your luck. That's about it. The ride is good at low speed and the quid feels nimble to drive around the city. One thing I wish, it came with 14 inch tyres. That should have improved the ride on the highway as well. 
The ground clearance is one more advantage as the quid doesn't bottom out on speed breakers even when it's loaded with passengers and luggage. So that has been my experience with this little city runabout so far. Its SUV styling, interior space and air conditioning makes the quid a likeable car. The AMT lacks refinement, but it makes driving in the city tolerable. Not to mention a manual selector is sorely missed. And how can I forget the main talking point here? The Quid AMT Kitna Deti hai. Well, the Renault Quid returned a mileage of 20.3 kmpl in city drives with occasional highway runs. So that should give you a range of around 560 kilometers on a single tank. Monsoons are around the corner and I'm curious to find out how the Quid will fare. If you are too, stay tuned to Car Dekho for our next long term report.